Oh wow, I've already been through a third of a tank of fuel on this tractor. Hey Mark. Yep. Don't forget to do the chick blast. Yep. How do you like Thank the you. lights, uh, Robert Burner? What's up? How do you like the lights? They're, um, classy. Caesar inducing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I got sort of my stream. I'll just wait a couple minutes and then we'll head down and uh, want to. Well, how about we start from the um, farm since that's where we spawn. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Hey Seth, welcome to the stream. Oh, and by the way, I sold all the equipment off the map, so you're not going to see any of the false equipment. That's good. We are a first. <clears throat> Well, guys, uh, those of you in my channel, um, just give you let you know they're gearing up to do a map tour on this. So if you want to, if you haven't seen the full map yet, <clears throat> you can feel free to hop over to Del Bravo Productions, um, to his channel, and DW if you're in. Can you put a link to his channel in the chat so they don't have to go hunt it in my description? Um, <clears throat> go hop over to Del Bravo's Productions channel there, and you can join him and Rubber Burner for a map tour. Because on this side, we're going to be plowing. Yeah, I'm plowing. Um, uh, I think Rubber I'm Burner's drunk. <laughs> he very well could be, so. Okay, yeah, I'm well, he's kind of swerving around, and uh, I'm kind of scared. It, it's it's not swerving, it's blocking. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm going to try something kind of cool. Give me a minute, guys. <laughs> my there we go. That was harsh, bro. I don't know if I can do this while the stream you forget. is active or not. You forget. My uh, Fed has a lot of horsepower. Yeah, you barely did a dent, my Fed. <laughs> it won't be long, Seth. We're just heading to the main farm, and uh, we'll start it uh, real soon. Woohoo! 499! Yay! 499! Yay! Woo! Inching up there. Inching up he there. Might, he, might, he, might he might do it today. Hey, farmer boy. Oh god, we're passing by the charts with rubber burner being drunk. That's not good. Oh, this is not uh, <laughs> double tire, uh, twin tire friendly. <laughs> Probably not. No. Kind of being a bad idea on my part to do that. Oh well. <clears throat> did you put the fat pants on that fence? I did. I never, I never played with the fat pants. So. I thought it was a good idea. Guess not. Fail. Okay. So here, here I know. It's part of my life, right? Okay, let's turn around here. Uh -oh. Ready here, good, good, good. Joe boy, your desktop is up on. Uh, OBS. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know. I'm trying to add. Uh, <clears throat> I I did know how to do it. Now I can't remember how to do it. I'm trying to add Delta's uh, live stream into OBS up in the corner so they can see it. Oh. Oh, go in uh, sources. Right click browser. Um. Oh, browser source. Yeah, and then you paste in my link. And you'll have to just crop it though. Crop it to the screen size. Yeah, I couldn't remember which one it was. <clears throat> Doing wonderful, you thank you very much. Alrighty, let's roll intro in five, four. Give me a second. I'm roll, can I roll intro with you guys and then we'll go CB2? <laughs> yeah, that'll work. No. Can I run my own show on this show? No, I can't. Sorry, I forgot that one. Please hold. Okay. When, when did that become a requirement? Never did. Way to be pushy. Five, four, three, two.
Hello guys, Delta Bravo production in the house with Rubber Burner Farming. We have oh. Mark Dupont, Cresto, Doughboy, Kiwi in the house also. Yo, yo, yo. What am I doing wrong here? We don't know. <laughs> what are you doing wrong? I don't know. I got double monitor or double audio. Oh, you'll have to kill the audio from uh, my stream. How do I do that? Go to your mixer and turn it off. Turn off the browser audio in the mixer. Um, yeah. That could work. So guys, we're gonna be doing a map tour with Rubber Burner Burner himself. Uh, link down below in the description to go sub to him, by the way. And it's his map that he made. And I think it's gonna be a good little map tour to show people around your wonderful map. So we're going to head down to CB2, and we'll catch you guys later. Later. Bye-bye. <clears throat> You're here for a rubber burner? Yeah, I got you loud and clear. Good. So <clears throat> we're going to ask the same questions that we asked in the stream before, but, you know, this it's the map tour. We hopefully yeah. get new people. So first off, tell us how you decided to do this map, why, and what's it's based off. Um, so this map, the whole project was actually a good friend of mine, Terranian's idea. Um, he knew that I dabbled in map editing and whatnot and gave me the idea of, of creating my own map. Um, and then he said he had a couple ideas for me and got me interested and explained to me that he could put a... Uh, Google Earth image on the map so I could completely recreate a certain area and then he could go one step further with that and even put correct terrain levels in. Um, so what I ended up doing was creating a map of my hometown. Um, or I guess it's not really a town, uh, it's really out in the royal country. Um, but uh, yeah, this is exactly where I grew up. So it's based off what you remember when you were a kid, but also from uh, Google Map. Yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. So we do spawn here at the main farm. So I yes, guess sir. you had uh, the same swimming pool here when you were a kid? <laughs> <coughs> um, actually, there was a pool there. I'm quite certain it wasn't that pool, but <laughs> there was a pool at this farmhouse, yes. Nice. Um, so most of the buildings you're going to find, a lot of them are your, your gold crest buildings. Um, finding stuff to uh, truly represent was a little bit difficult. Um, the, the, the biggest uh, kind of homemade uh, building would be the shed up on the hill up there. Um, but and, uh, for the most part, yeah, it's, it's gold crest buildings. And did you make that uh, on top, or are you going from? So oh, it's it's actually uh, kind of modular, made out of multiple different buildings. Um, so if you come down here, this is actually a pretty cool little feature. Um, this cold storage down here. Uh, this was by, uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank on their, they did the old streams map, Black Sheep Modding. Black Sheep Modding, um, yeah. Yeah, so this actually goes underneath of the shed up above. Nice. Yeah. And, so, and, what, and what would you store in here? Uh, so this map, the, the, the area, everything was potatoes. Um, now, obviously, uh, Farm Sim gives you sugar beets also, which is a root crop, but that could be another storage area for you there. Cool. So the, the walls do have collisions and stuff, right? They should. Yeah. They will by final release if, if it's not functioning properly right now, but I think we're all good to go on those now. Um, so up here, um, this would have been, uh, hay bale storage. Okay. Um, and then, or straw barrel storage, uh, you can drop down here and now you're into, uh, sheep, uh, a feeding area, I guess. It's not actually a functional area aside from being able to store bales, uh, not being destroyed by, uh, 
seasons if you decide to run the map with seasons which it is ready for yeah so like that's a good point for telling people it is season ready it's gonna be for you to choose if you want to use season or not but yep it is season ready <clears throat> um, so here's feeding area right here um, and way further down in the I guess we can just kind of walk this way and I can point you towards where it is versus going all the way down there um, down in the field down there you've got your water trigger as well for feeding the water yeah, I noticed when I did the map preview that uh, your your sheep area is quite huge and quite uh, large yeah well this was actually um, again uh, this was a potato area but they didn't actually there were no sheep there were no pigs in the area it was all cattle so um, like we discussed earlier there, there became points where it was try to decide um, what sacrifices to make in order to make the game fully functional yeah. for farming simulator so this ended up turning into a sheep pen instead I love your gra graveyard that you have right here Oh yeah, yeah. I, there actually was a line of equipment, old equipment that 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 was thrown out. You know, they'd steal parts off of yep. when they needed to and whatnot. Uh, Kiwi's asking, can you mow the pastures? Um, no reason why you couldn't. Um, and yes, the you can get into the pastures. Um, all the actually Cresto is kind of showing that off right now. The fences. Uh, or the gates rather are animated so you're telling me I'm not following you anymore I'm following Cresta really oh you're right beside much. me Jesus Christ <laughs> scared me sorry my HUD is down so I don't see like who's on who you guys all wear the same thing too so <laughs> <laughs> so moving over here this is uh, this is where obviously you would store the gist of your equipment yep. um, there's quite a bit of area there but surprisingly you can fill that up fairly easily um, this right here is a fuel storage point. Uh, that being said, you will need the uh, UPK mod in order to use it. Is it, uh, it it's storage, right? It's not buying point? Yes, it is uh, storage, yeah. Okay. Delta Bravo. That's me. Don't mean to interrupt you guys quick, but I'm having a major issue. My viewers cannot hear the rest of the people in TeamSpeak. How do I mute that browser source? <laughs> Um, it's not in the mixer in OBS. Mm -hmm. I muted OBS in my regular Windows mixer, but then now they can't hear it. Give me a second, then I'll just go find something. I'll go back here two seconds. Go here. Go to filters. Can I add a mute? Uh, Chrome key. No. Interesting. I do not know then. It's not it's not showing up in your mixer? No. It's mm. <clears throat> going up under sources. Yeah. Well that's normal and then I, I, I looked if uh But in properties there's nothing for audio and then no, to the right side under under mixer there's nothing for that channel. And under filters there's nothing either. So I guess no. you can't. Interesting. Really is. I thought you could. So I guess you'll have to delete the little square. Yep. All right. Thank you. No problem. I'll have to start research that a little bit better. How I can do that. All right. Bye. 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 All right. <clears throat> so moving on. Um, down here we have uh, Seedmaster which does you do start out with yeah twenty five thousand uh liters of seed inside of it nice um the seed master of course will take uh, your grain crops and then a liquid fertilizer uh the liquid fertilizer needs to first go into a coty pack uh trailer or a trailer with that script yeah. installed on it um this area right here it it's not functional in any sort of way aside from being able to store something on the ground uh, my thought process there was when you get done at compost master you want to bring some stuff up to the main firm here's a little storage area for you okay uh, a little bit more realistic than throwing it in a silo so to speak true 
Um, and right here we have some uh, uh, liquid fertilizer tanks. So this, uh, you, again, you start out with 20,000 liters of liquid fertilizer. Um, but yeah, you can throw it in there and take it out of there. There is liquid fertilizer production on the map. We will get to that at a later point in time, though. Nice. Um, down, so as you see, the chickens are considered free-range chickens. Um, but you'll find most of, well, all of the eggs um, right here in this general area. There's a couple tucked in the grass right here, but I tried my best to make them fairly easy to find for you. Uh, you won't find any uh, behind the uh, the chicken coop. Uh, it's pretty much from the side of it forward facing. Good. So at least you're not going to lose any eggs. No. Yeah, you know, exactly. You need that money from the eggs. Well, you know what, though? Uh, and it's funny. Uh, I actually, uh, of course, I'm doing my own series on this. And just after springtime... Uh, I collected all the eggs, and I made a thousand dollars off off the eggs. Well, I had been collecting them throughout, and yeah, I ended up making like a thousand bucks off it. Yeah, but a thousand bucks is a thousand bucks, right? Yeah, exactly. So where are we heading now? Uh, I think we'll move down to the cow farm next. Uh, so just a, a general uh, little bit of history here. Um, so there's kind of three farms on the map, and in real life they were all kind of interconnected. Um, they were all Crawford farms. Uh, let's get this gate open. Oh, I don't have. Great. Don't have that mod in. It's uh, the map trigger or the trigger. Yeah. Da, 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 da. So this, what we're driving through right now would be cow pasture, um, where I'm taking the tractor to would be where you fill up uh, water. Yep. Um, we have one feed trough here along the back side. Uh, where I'm standing now is where you could purchase your... Uh, cows or drop them off okay um, and right where I'm sticking my front tire right there is oh dear now I'm stuck on it that's uh, milk pickup for if you want to uh, run the uh, uh, stop milk milk sale mod yeah but even if, if you don't want to run it, it still works uh, just yeah. at midnight just go take it before midnight yeah um, and then, of course, you know, this is the, pretty much the Goldcrest uh, cow shed, so you'll, you'll, you can feed here. Um, back here, we've got a manure pit as well as liquid manure. And this red barn here, that's going to be where you sell, sell your straw bales. Yourself turned around there, big boy. I'm sorry, I'm big. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then there's a couple sheds here. You can use them for bale storage or equipment storage. Um, and then a couple of silage pits as well. Um, the solar panels over there are non functional. You don't make any money off them, they're purely decorative. Okay. Um, I guess we'll, uh, take a little drive down this dirt road next. Well, I like how you have ditches and you might just fall in there and drown. Love it. <laughs> well, it's funny, you're actually the first person who's called it a ditch. Everybody else tries to, tries to tell me that it's more of a stream, but ditches are very hard to duplicate. Yeah. Um, in in Giants Editor, and that's what they are supposed to be. Well, you know, when it's deep enough and you can't get out of it, it's called a ditch. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, yeah, my it, it could swallow my whole tractor right now. <laughs> so I'll call that a ditch. <clears throat> so I like the dirt roads. Dirt roads looks uh, really nice, and you have the forest on either side, and all the trees are are able to cut them down. Correct. 
Uh, yes. Yep. Um, so that manure heap that's right there, that is not in game. That is uh, something that they're using for multiplayer testing right now. Yeah. Um, Don't mind is, the manure pile. Yeah. Uh, this is uh, 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 brain fart biofuel oh, yeah. production. Uh, and so, is it the modded one that accepts corn or? I believe it just accepts canola. Uh, the, the, yeah, just canola, but it will produce uh, fuel as well as forage and digestate. Um, just uh, for your information, I feel a little tipsy in here. I think your thing is a little crooked. Uh, how do you mean? I mean, it's not flat. You mean? Yeah, it's not flat. It's leaning yeah. to one side. <laughs> I think it's that, that or actually. it's that or I drank too much. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not the one drinking, so. <laughs> nope, not like that. Is it the placeable one that you used and just put in your map? Of course, say that again. Is it the placeable one that you used and just placed it in your map? Um, there is a Giants Editor version one out there. Okay. Um, I don't remember where I've grabbed it from. I've put it on so many different maps now that... Uh, I, I just couldn't tell you that if I wanted to. Okay. Uh, so I just want to come down this dirt road here. There's really nothing spectacular to show down here. I just, this is my favorite dirt road. I don't know why. It's just kind of tucked in the back and, and kind of uh, secluded. And that's a lot of what you'll feel throughout the map, especially going towards the... Uh, the outermost fields. <clears throat> I like how the fields are like hidden in the forest. Yeah, well, and it was a very forested area. Um, now, again, we discussed earlier that it was mostly maple trees, um, although there were pine trees and whatnot. Uh, uh, maple trees were, were quite uh, quite pronounced in the area, but uh, placing that number of uh, maple trees uh, would have created two problems. One, it would have been extremely time consuming. Placing that many trees, pine trees was already time consuming enough. Uh, the other thing I was worried about was frame rate drops. Um, and I, I think that uh, maple trees are a bit more uh, uh, hardware demanding okay and I wanted to try to avoid that because the, the the frame rates are, are solid right now and that's not a problem at all frame rates are really good all over the map anyway from where I went and that's a really good thing yeah I've been doing like I say I've been on the map for testing for a couple or three weeks now and uh, I really haven't found any problem areas as of yet. Um, so here again, don't mind the manure pile. Um, <laughs> we've got another cold storage building. Uh, nothing fancy. No Just, lights? Uh, your... No, no, apparently not. I might change that actually, never thought of that. It's a little dark. Um, but yeah, you're just going to store your potatoes or sugar beets or wood chips or what have you in there. And, and I noticed that your fields are pretty much not small, not huge, medium to big field. Yeah, uh, and it's funny, I, I always thought when playing Farm Sim, I always thought that where I grew up, the fields were all really, really small. And it wasn't until creating the map that I realized that, uh, you know what, they were actually fairly large. Um, but yeah, again, I tried to uh, depict what was as real as possible. Um, again, don't mind the manure pits? Well, this one here, the one that I'm walking into right now, is one that the boys have placed. However, this one over here... This one is where you're going to sell your manure. Okay. Um, and right here, you'll be able to sell your liquid manure and digest it. 
Good. And I wouldn't want to live in that little house beside it. But okay. <laughs> Oh, you have a little uh, river in the back? Yeah, just, uh, well, that would have been a little stream that uh, turns into a little pond area there. I don't know. Um, Henry, I think there was a little spring back there. Henry's asking, are the fields course play friendly? Um, we, I haven't done that much testing on course play yet. Um, hired help friendly absolutely not a course play friendly i think for the most part will be good to go uh there will be one field field number 36 that will just not be course play friendly because there's some some ledge areas in the middle of the field but aside from that uh i think once i iron out all the trees that are placed in the middle of the fields <laughs> then uh then you'll be good to go. So right here is where you can sell liquid fertilizer. Okay. Uh, and then this is, uh, well, it's, it's considered David's farm. This will be one of your sell points. And that's the end of the road right there. And yeah, that's... so... I, I didn't want to just have the map drop off. There weren't really tunnels there in real life, but I, I figured doing something along that lines was better than just having the map drop off. Drop off or have a invisible collision where you think you're going to yeah. be able to drive and then you hit a wall. Yeah, exactly. Um, so this, this is going to be one of your standard biogas plants that you see on many maps. Um, nothing fancy to show here. Uh, creates liquid manure, you dump in your silage, um, you make money. <laughs> uh, you got two bunkers here. Uh, they're fairly large bunkers. Uh, don't quite remember what I set their fill levels to, but it was modified a little bit. Okay. But that's pretty much everything down towards the south. And I don't see any real point of uh, driving way back to the outer outskirts of the map. That's just kind of time-consuming yeah. It's just fields that you guys can see along the way as you decide to play the map well, I like the feeling of the map the map looks it feels big it feels open, but it feels cozy all the same time Because there's places yeah. you go the fields are open. And it's all open Places, and yeah. then you go to places where it's, it's all really, really tight and really... And, and that's what you'll find in those back fields, is, is it becomes all of a sudden tight back there. Yeah. Um, so right here we've got uh, Janice's wool, that's where you sell your wool at. Uh, that church right across the uh, right across the stream there, or ditch, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> that's actually where my dad, dad preached at. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. apple fell a little far from the tree on that one. Um, and right up here, this was actually my house. Uh, this is actually where you will also sell your uh, eggs at. Um, and that barn, you saw nothing in that barn, right? Barn is non-functional. Okay. Uh, nothing really to it. I don't even know to be honest if you can store bales in it i think i said it so you could but it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere i'm not sure that there would be any point to it uh to the right there is a big old canadian flag placed in the middle of the grass field there oh well no, hold on. that looks nice that was a little tricky i i got the idea from goldcrest um, and then trying to figure out how to implement it into this map was a little bit tricky, but was able to power through and, and get her done. Um, there are small little fields here. Are they usable yeah, so fields? There's no reason why you couldn't use them. Um, they were essentially, uh, let me just backtrack a little bit. Where you're sitting right now, uh, was actually my mother's garden. Okay. Uh, so she'd plant her... 
her uh, carrots and lettuce and all that stuff. And the, uh, well, it is poplar here, but in real life, they were raspberry bushes. Of course, there's no raspberry in the game, so I couldn't represent that very yeah. well. Uh, but that was the best I could come up with. How dare you be driving over on top of the Canadian Bluff flag? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get yelled at by, by some of my viewers for that. <laughs> well, I like that. That, that. That's a really nice touch there, putting that in there. Really nice. Yeah, well, I hadn't seen anybody else do it before, and I really no. wanted to kind of capture the fact that this is the Canadian map. I want, yeah. you know, there's a couple Canadian flags throughout the map, and I, I want people to know that it, that it is Canadian, because I do have a little, a lot of pride in, in where I grew up. Um, so, jumping out here, uh, we've got uh, the, the straw trigger here. So you drop your straw off there. Okay. Um, liquid manure trigger here. Um, inside this end of the shed, this is intended for uh, cold storage. Again, for your your sugar beets, your your potatoes, or your wood chips. But I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't keep uh, keep your equipment in there. Something's wrong Figured with this it. door. Not working properly for you? Well, it's, 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 I don't fit through the crack, I'm too fat. <laughs> like, I fit, but I mean, like, <laughs> the door doesn't open pro uh, fully. But I like, uh, I like the um, storage places you have. They look, yeah. they look really nice. Well, and th th <clears throat> they've all been kind of customized, um, because these walls that are in here, they're actually a modular wall that I found. Um, and there's probably about 30 of them on the ground here and then you know a half dozen of them placed up uh, these concrete walls I should say okay. uh, but you'll, you'll find many of them throughout the map became very handy in, in kind of customizing the sheds and and making them my own um, take a walk around this way and so you start off the map with 50 sheep 50 pigs uh, as you guys saw earlier, there were some hay bales up uh, up in the pig area or in the sheep area. Um, right here, we've got tons of pig food to do you for. If you're running seasons mod, I believe it's enough to get you close to fall. Not quite to fall, but very very close. Um, little basketball and that, some storage. Uh, I do have a shop here. Um, that it, that you can use. Uh, what are you doing over there? I'm sorry, I might have exploited your pig food. What on earth did you do? Um, so you have basketball. Okay, can, can can we play basketball? I think we can. Can we shoot some hoop? I thought you could. I you could be able to. I I watched. Uh, I don't remember who it was. I think it was Ice. Um, yep. did it. And are you? Do you? And it, we score, and it doesn't fall. Oh well, that's awkward. Well, that is awkward. <laughs> <laughs> you might want to fix that. <laughs> See, that's why we test. But yeah. um, oh, your icon fades out. Yeah, I haven't figured out why it's doing that. Uh, I actually replaced the icon, and it's still doing it. So, but it's fine. Uh, uh, you know what? I'll, I kind of like that. I think it adds more realistic when you just, you know, if, if you're far away, you don't see it. Yeah. Mo yeah mo mo most know. people, it, it's, it's around, though. It's the other way around where you see it from far, but when you get close to it, you don't see it anymore. Somewhere but it's like funny, that. That's, that is the only trigger throughout the map that is like that. And um, um, do, do, do you have to pay here for uh, customization, or you don't pay for it? Well, it's as if this is uh, the shop that you could buy, the placeable shop that you can buy in game. Okay. So you don't have to pay for labor. You'll just have to pay for the wheels if yeah. you know you haven't owned those wheels before. Um, I should mention there is also a shop on the main farm, uh, the sheep farm, um, that I forgot to point out. It's on the other side of the fuel storage. Okay. Um, so here we've got. Uh, I believe there is. I don't know. There's some straw bales there. I don't know exactly how many. Um, 
So this is going to be your grain storage right here. I'm standing. Where are you? I'm right behind you. Oh, okay. <laughs> and that, and that um, works? Uh, so as of right now, it's not functional so that you'll see the grain come out of the top. I've been thinking about trying to change that, but I'm not quite sure how to do it yet. So that might be a change for a later version. Um, and then you will uh, pick up your 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 crops from this end right here. Okay. Um, I guess we just kind of walk past the water trough for the pigs. Right Whoa! Hey there, piggy. <laughs> Why do you have a pig outside? Hey, you don't see the pig kind of standing no. in the middle of the shed? No, it's because we don't. The pigs don't spawn uh, evenly. Okay. What what, okay. what 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 you see is is different from what I see. Did you um, um quick, quick question before I forget? Do you ever fix uh, the flying cow? Uh, yes, I believe it is fixed. Okay. Yes. Um, and aside from that pig that I just found, I thought I had fixed all the pigs as well. Um, so here's your uh, pig feeding trough right here. Um, pig loading trough right here. Then, da -da -da. then you've got your manure point right there. Nice. So that's the pig farm. Simple, cozy, small, love it. But you have a big equipment and placeable place to put stuff. Or placeable it's, to store your crops, I mean, and stuff. I like it. Mm. It's, it's a nice map because the map can be played either way. You can play this map with the small equipment if you want to. Or you can play it with the big equipment. I don't know if you could go big bud big, but, you know, you can well, use... Well, I'm sure you could to a track. certain level. Yeah. Maybe not every field, Big Bud? Yeah. Um, but like the tractors we're using right now, you could use on this map for no problem. Uh, let's see, where am I going to? Uh, let's actually turn left here. Da, 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 da. Whoa. Now again, we're getting lost in the woods. Yeah, we'll take a little drive back. Um, so, animal sales are... It's kind of hidden back in the woods. Yeah, uh, we're selling them on the black market, essentially. <laughs> uh, again, this... Oh, a manure par, uh, uh, pile right where you sell yes. the... <laughs> yes. Yeah, don't, don't ask too much. Again, that's not included, guys. Uh, we're just testing, and that's why it's there. Uh, but yeah, this is where you're going to buy uh, or sell your animals. Um, again, this was one of the, where am I going to place this that's not going to disrupt the main feel of the map. Yeah. And this was the best solution I could come up with. Um, but it's kind of tucked away. It's a neat little trip to make occasionally, I guess. Hold on, Fatty's gonna back up. I think I need to lose a little weight. <laughs> right, I'm gonna take a little shortcut here. And, um, yeah, that is correct, guys. You saw mud. We do have mud on the map. Yeah, there's, uh, for the most part, it's pretty mild. Um, you're going to see it along the dirt roads um, that we just drove through, which there are plenty of throughout the map. But there's really, there's only a couple spots that are big, thick mud uh, where you can get tractors stuck. I didn't want to do overkill on it, uh, but I still wanted to have a couple places you could kind of play around and have a little fun if you wanted to. I did notice that in one field uh, there was a big pile of mud and I yeah, got a good stuff. Yeah, that actually was one of two mud puddles and you happened to find it, yeah. <sighs> uh, so we've got the compost master here. This is the same compost master you're going to find on most maps. I like, um, I like the texture you gave. 
Yeah, again, I need to thank Uranium for that. He ended up finding it um, on a, a Russian map, and I apologize, I don't know the name of the creator of the textures, but I, I do like the way it turned out a lot. Yeah, I had the original one in, and then when I changed the textures to this one, it just it felt much more appropriate. So yeah, where Delta's standing right now, that's where you're going to fill it up with fuel. Um, up the ramp, that's where you can put in your straw, you can put in root crops, wood chips, uh, hay, grass. I think you could even put in crops, but it's kind of pointless to put in crops. Sure. And um, that's where it dumps. Um, yep, right oh, there is where it dumps. So you can, Come you can manually load from here. Or if you go around to the other side, um, you can uh, just pull your tipper under this. Cool. Uh, come here a second. I'll show you something. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh, yes. And point that way. Oh, I see. Very interesting. Good catch, Mr. Bravo. All you have to do is just maybe add another wall and point. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, uh, thank you. That's all. Oh, no problem. Where the heck did that go? <laughs> <laughs> me, no, me, my question is, where did the wall go? That's what I'm I asking. I'm sure you had a wall at one point. No clue. That was one of those, um, get on a deleting spree or something. <laughs> and delete their wrong object. Uh, there was a wall at one point, guys. <laughs> there will be a wall yeah. in, the, in, the, in the future. Don't worry about that. I like how there's uh, small tires just laying around and, you know, yeah, makes it dirty throw some, and... Throw some garbage in there. Um, so right here we've got, this is GTX's, um, uh, silage, uh, silo. Do I fit? I do, do fit. That thing? Ooh, barely. I know. Um, so you're going to throw your, your grass or forage in there, it's going to produce silage. Which will, um, the uh, wrong button. Um, it'll, pr it'll spawn right here. Uh, of course, you'll have to pull your tipper under it to collect it. But it also produces, that's the nice thing about this, it also produces, uh, uh, digestate right here. That's what I was looking at. I was wondering what the output of that was, or was it an input or? Yeah. Um, and then right over here, here is going to be your liquid fertilizer production. And I did things, might not be 100% realistic, but uh, I wanted to add another little feature to it. So this is liquid fertilizer production. You're gonna fill it with liquid manure, digestate, liquid manure or digestate, and water. And then it will produce, at the other end, um, liquid fertilizer. Oh, and thank you. It's an endless. What's that? I said thank you. It's an endless. Endless? Endless. Endless. Oh. You're able to read in oh. endless, not in oh. German. Yeah, yeah, that drives me when it's not there. I feel sorry for uh, any uh, Germans that play the map because I didn't really pay that much attention to whether or not they have the correct terms. Yeah. Um, so let's pull a, pull a U turn now. Because. Back headed that direction, it's just more fields back there. There's nothing fancy to see out there. Apparently, somebody had to go to lunch or something. Yeah, that was me. Oh, okay. With the lights running, it's all good. My knee new battery, though. <laughs> um, right down this way, this is we're getting to the other end of the map now. Um, this was actually another farm area, uh, but I decided, instead decided to turn this into your kind of town area. Because the town, the closest town was 15, 20 minute drive away. So there had to be a spot where you could sell crops, buy your tractors, that kind of jazz. So I, I figured this would be the appropriate location for that. I'm actually going to shut this thing off. Um, so right here, you've got your store. They're going to spawn right in front of us here. Um, right where that vent is. Uh, this is where you're going to sell your equipment off. 
then of course you do have another sell point for crops right here. Nice. Um, moving this way, da -da 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 -da. Uh, we have, this is where you're going to sell your milk. Uh, back here, may, that's where you're going to May I say it's interesting that's a black tank. Wouldn't, What's interesting about it? Well, wouldn't you sell it in a white tank? I don't know, I guess. Well, actually, the white tanks over there are fuel. <laughs> yeah, see, I would have done the contrary, though, because white's yeah. for milk and black's for diesel. Yeah, I get. I see what you're getting at. I'm just saying maybe someone will be confused and put diesel where the milk is and then fill the truck with milk. <laughs> <laughs> That could be interesting. So there's two triggers here. Um, so trigger that I am standing in right now, this is where you can buy fuel from. Okay. Um, this is the one spot that you can buy fuel from. And then on the contrary, uh, when you're producing fuel, you can also sell fuel. And you can do that at this trigger right here. Question for you. Yes. Can you buy the fuel and sell the fuel and make money? I don't think so, unless you buy the fuel, because the fuel price, I do believe, can go up and down, and you can actually, it is in the PDA, um, fuel, milk, liquid fertilizer are all in the PDA, um, unless you buy it when the price is high, or when the price is low, and then sell it when the price is high, I don't know, I haven't tested that yet, that's a good question. Because uh, I, I would just picture, you know, people work around, need money, or they'll buy fuel and just go right beside and what? sell it and get money out of it. And we've had this discussion before. If somebody wants to play the game that way, that's their prerogative, True. right? It's uh, That's the great thing about Farm Sim is you can do what you want with it. Agreed. And it's not, it's not going to hurt my feelings any either. <laughs> nope. Um, uh, the Manure place, guys, don't forget about it too again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so right here, uh, you've got, uh, yeah, wood chips down this corner here. Sell them down in that pile. Uh, right here, you can sell your logs by dropping them on the ground. Or if you go around to the backside, there is a pond down there. Uh, you can back your trailer in there, uh, and you can sell them in the water. Nice. That's pretty much the map. So you have the options of uh, doing what you want. Yeah, yeah like that so in a nutshell that's the map in a nutshell that is the map there are plenty of territories that we did not cover again they're they're the spots on the back end of the map the other fields and whatnot um but i this this is all the main points of the map that you're really going to need to know about uh, moving in and, and starting to play them out. Yeah, I think for the rest of the um, of the map, I think the viewers need to go out there and you know check out the field, check out the forest, check out how you're able to get stuck in a forest and uh, try to get yeah. out of it. Um, and yeah, I think you know that's that's li little things that I think in a map tour it's normal not to sow because you. In the end. Yeah, well, I mean, we've probably been at this for 20 minutes or a half an hour now, and we yeah. could probably spend another hour if we went and showed every last... Easily. Every last corner of the map. Yeah. Cool. So do you have a um, release time date or what you're hoping for? How would people um, want... How would people get this map? Are they? Is it available for them to get it now? How is okay. it working? So the map is still in beta. It's it's um, not generally available to the public yet. Um, you yourself uh, and your uh, crew are currently testing it. Honestly, I've been kind of waiting for the past couple of weeks for you guys to start testing it, um, which I'm not complaining about. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, once you got like you guys are gonna obviously show me issues along the way yep. um, and then once you guys are done which is gonna be a week from now or so then I'll obviously implement all the fixes and then I hope to be pushing it to the sites the week after 
So m my question is, and same question I had with Farmer John when he released his map, are you planning on maybe releasing it on Mudhub? Um, I want to release it on Mudhub. I don't know how... It depends... Yes, I'm going to try to upload it to Mudhub. The, um, I, I would say, though, and the same thing that John told me is, if, if you do release it, you'll have to try Mudhub first, and then if that doesn't work, try the site. Because if it's already on the site... Um, I will not will probably not accept it. Yeah, and I will be trying for ModHub. It's a question of I've never tried to upload anything to ModHub before. Yeah. So I don't know exactly how scrutinous their their testing procedure is. I don't know how what their timeline is. My understanding from what I've been hearing is they're way behind right now. Yeah. So it may be two, three weeks before they say, no, nope, you need to change one thing first before we retest it. Yeah. So, and if that's the case, then I might say, well, sorry about your luck. I'm just going to post it to a couple other sites. Yeah. Um, uh, but I, it will, I, go ahead. No, I know Farmer John uploaded his a couple of days ago, and of course he, he, he haven't heard anything from it yet. So it will be interesting to see what his his story out of it is and then will that push you to do it or you'll go like nah never mind <laughs> and then go yeah. direct to the sites i think his input in that will be interesting also maybe I... lancy boy since he's uh he does watch now the streams maybe he, he, it could be interesting to know uh from his side you know how hard is it or how not hard it is and so on yeah um i honestly i the main reason i want to put to put it on mod hub is I'd just be honored to have my map on ModHub. Uh, I think it would be a great opportunity. Uh, but at the same time, I have a couple of issues with ModHub. Uh, so I'm really not, you know, it's not going to make or break whether or not I release this map. Yeah. Um, so if it doesn't end up on ModHub, it will be on PCSG as well as FSUK. I know those ones for sure. I'm still contemplating whether or not I put it on ModHoster. I haven't decided yet. Well, as as I told uh, John, and that's my opinion anyways, I think you're better off uh, posting it to every site that you know under your name. That way you yeah. have control over it. And, you know, that way you're able to see from everyone. And that does include, sadly enough, modhub.us, just for the fact yeah. that it's your name, it's your map, and no people is going to take credit or re-upload it or whatever. And also, you'll know the feedback out of it, right? You'll know, you know, the goods, the bad, what people think about it, and not have to go through, you know, someone else upload and try to figure this, that out. This is all very, very true. Uh, that's part of the thought process. But uh, on the flip side, if you only release it to a couple sites, it's less likely to end up on the junk sites. But then on the flip side you're releasing to less people and i want yeah. people to be able to enjoy the map yeah right i think it's um, it's a really nice map a really good uh a really good map that that reflects canada and reflects you know part of where you are because there's not a lot of maps out there that reflects us no there really isn't there really isn't um uh, which which i find surprising there's only a, a couple um that i've found and they they didn't quite have the feel I was hoping for. They were Canadian. They had Canadian flags on them, but I didn't feel that they were Canadian they were, enough. Yeah, um, but and then again, there are very different parts of Canada too. There are some parts where this entire map would have been one field, right, yeah. uh, out in the prairies. But this, it's a very good representation of this area of Canada. I think. Agreed. So people are able to reach you on your YouTube channel. Is there? Do you have a Facebook page? Do you have a Discord? Yep. Do you have? A secret? I do. Ha yep. So I've got uh, I've got Facebook. Uh, just Google her Facebook search Rubber Burner Gaming. Or just um, look down the description. I'll add that all after the stream. Cool. Um, I also have Twitter. I'm not very active on it. it essentially, you just get notifications when when I go live or when I publish something. Um, I do have an open Discord that anybody can join. Um, it's closed for the voice during streams, um, but you'll be out. Anybody can access any other point of uh, the Discord channel if they wish. Um, 
those are probably the best ways to get a hold of me. So I think they'll that they'll be a good place for them to keep up with the map and know you know release dates or what's working on and stuff like that. Yep. Yep, absolutely. Yep, and of course, you know, Delta Bravo's doing some testing right now, so uh, you really want to see what's going on with the map at this point in time. Pay attention to his stuff, because uh, he's going to be the one, or their their group of guys are going to be the ones pointing me towards some fixes, and then yep. and then uh, we'll go from there. Of course. So thank you very much, for Brenner, for coming in and giving us a map tour of this wonderful map that you created. And by the way, guys, you did start the map from scratch. Nothing, you know, was already be pre-built or anything. So, I mean, it's a huge step. You, you, It's not like you took a map and just changed a couple of things around and, and called it your own. So, good yeah. work. Yeah. Uh um, and, and I really appreciate that, and I also really want to thank you as well, not only for this map tour, but for, for getting your group of guys and, and agreeing to do the testing. It's a big help for me. I appreciate it. Yep. That's what we're here for, supporting each other. So cool. Guys, so guys, that'll be it. That'll be all. We'll check down below in the description for his YouTube channel. It's up there right now. I'll put all Discord and all that stuff. I'll put it down below after. And that'll be it. So this week we'll be testing the map. So make sure you guys check that. And if uh, you're watching this on a later date, we'll check out the playlist for the beta testing and uh, see what we're able to break. And maybe we're not. Maybe you know what? Maybe we won't break anything. Who knows? Hey, there you know. There you, you know, because it's been you. You did do a couple of fixes from what other people had and stuff, and we did have the new version last night. So. You know, maybe it's some that have broken after all. There you go. You never know. You never know. You know, you, you, you uh, as I say, you keep on uh, surprising me. You know, I put on my server and there's pretty, pretty much no errors coming out of it. Right away, that's a good sign. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's been in beta testing for pretty much a month now. I've had it out to a handful of people and they've found issues. And, and along the way, I want to fix absolutely everything so that when it is released, it's as good as I can possibly make it at that point in time. Alright guys, that'll be it. That'll be all. Go subscribe to him. The link down below in the description. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. See ya. Bye.